In this video, we're going to be talking about a topic called ortho K. Now, this is something that you would run across if you're looking to maybe reduce your myopia or astigmatism. It's a form of treatment that we'll discuss briefly in just a moment. Before we do that, let's talk about how you can connect with us. If you're local, call us at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and you can either take a quiz read some more information about what we do, or may just be time for you to schedule a consultation with us. Now let's talk a little bit about ortho -K. The reason why this is coming up today, I actually had a consultation with someone today whose child was using ortho -K and then through a series of problems needed to get away from it, but they still wanted to be able to reduce his myopia. So what is ortho -K? Well, ortho -K is usually a series of rigid gas permeable, or now they've lost the rigid, they just call them gas permeable contact lenses, which means they're a little bit more hard. They're not as soft and flexible. And they're worn on the eye, typically at nighttime, in order to try to reverse the myopia or to decrease it. There's generally some parameters that doctors look at in order for it to be a success. So the myopia needs to be a certain amount, the astigmatism needs to be a certain amount for a person to be a candidate for ortho K. And essentially what they're doing is that they're using this contact lens to mold the shape of the cornea overnight when the person is sleeping. When they wake up the next day, the contacts are taken out. And the idea is if the eye is molded backwards so that the shape of the eye is flattened in a little bit, well then the myopia has reduced at least to an extent. Um, and generally over time, they try to use a progressively different lens. So they're trying to get a further reduction, further reduction, further reduction, further reduction. Now this can actually work great. And some of our patients after reducing their myopia with our program, want to go ahead and try to do a fast track to reverse even more. And so sometimes we will recommend ortho K at that point to them. Other patients have come to us who've maybe used ortho K unsuccessfully and they want to try to now do it a slightly different route. Either of those work well, but typically what I would like to do is if I can, I like to try to get the person who hasn't tried ortho K first. The reason why is that if I can use Syntonix, which is neurological light stimulating filters, um, if I can use that first on an individual along with a vision therapy program to reduce their myopia or astigmatism, then either ortho K might not be necessary or it could be very beneficial to help them the rest of the way if they want to reduce even more. I figure and I see as a regular basis in our practice that if we can reduce 30 to 50% pretty across the board. So if someone comes in and they're a minus six and I can get a 30% reduction with them within 14 months or so, that's pretty typical. We usually see about a 30% reduction, sometimes as much as 50%, and sometimes in children particularly, as much as 75% reduction in myopia. Well, if I can do that with just retraining and reprogramming the brain electrically, how to focus, how to use the two eyes better together, and then I look at that prescription and go, okay, well, you're a minus six, now you're a minus three, now might be a great time for them to try out ortho K if they want to further reduce that lens prescription. Where in the beginning, someone who's a minus six, ortho K might not be a great option for them because usually doctors want it to be a little bit less than that and the myopia. But again, if we can do this electrically, like reprogramming the brain, why would we want to go to ortho K first? Well, we wouldn't. We'd actually want to reprogram the brain first. And then if we want to rely on something like ortho K, that would be a great secondary option to further reduce that myopia or the person could just continue to do what we were doing in our program and try to further reduce their myopia over time. Either of those would be good options. So it's not that we have any problem using ortho K. We do recommend it for some of our patients, but in the case of the little guy that I consulted with and uh, really their issue was that he developed some eye infections as a result of wearing the contact lenses. And then he had to go out of it. And as he went out of the ortho K for a month or so, his myopia just like mushroomed and went kind of out of control. 
And so now they're looking at, well, how can we not only get back to where we were, but even further reduce it before we went into ortho K and this kind of got out of control. So what we are doing then is a great option for them because it is electrically reprogramming the brain how to focus and function better with their visual system, how to teach them to shift their focus, how to have what we call blur acceptance, and many other things about binocularity and how the two eyes are used together that help overall reduce the myopia. So now you might be thinking, hmm, I have heard about this ortho -K. I was thinking about doing it, or maybe you unsuccessfully did it or who knows what that might be. But at any rate, we would say, look at your options. If you can electrically reprogram your brain first, that's really truly ideal. And then we may wanna do ortho K after that to further reduce the myopia. Now, if you do have questions about how we help our patients in reducing myopia or astigmatism, or even on the other end of the spectrum, hyperopia, then please contact our clinic. If you're local, 618-288-1489. If you're not local, that's okay. Just go to our website, visionforlifeworks.com, visionforlifeworks.com, and you can schedule a consultation. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like button and make sure that you subscribe to our channel. And as always, if you find this video beneficial and maybe it could help others, please pass it on. Thank you.